All right. Um, when doing a problem like this, basically, ladies and gentlemen, what we're looking at is we need to identify the equation of the parabola. Um, so basically, there's two different equations that we have for a parabola that we have discussed in your Algebra 1 and Algebra 2 classes. So it's very important for you guys to at least understand these two formulas. The first one is y equals a times x squared plus bx plus c. That was our standard form. And then the other formula that you went over extensively in Algebra 2 was what we call vertex form. y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. All right. Now, what was helpful about both these forms, at least we're in standard form, we were able to determine if the graph opened up or down based on the value of a. Do you guys remember that? So Tierra, when the graph was, or when a was positive, we know the graph opened up, which in this case, it opens up. So we make sure that our equations are all going to be pos have a positive a, which in this case, they all do. Um, but the next thing is, the important thing that we learned was vertex form. Converting you know, from standard form to vertex form. And the reason why that was important, because the vertex, when it's in this format, we can easily identify the vertex as h comma k. All right. So again, to remind you what is the vertex, the vertex is either the maximum or the minimum point of a parabola. So you can see here is the minimum point. That is our vertex. So what is that point for the vertex? Well, that's 0 comma negative 3. All junior. <laughs> All right. Now, I don't know. We still don't know what the values of a are. Um, but the important thing I want you guys to understand is we're not subtracting anything from All x. All juniors, please. <laughs> not your fault. Um, so I want you guys to understand, though, that when we plug in the vertex in for h and k, when we plug it in for h and k. Juniors, please be relieved. <laughs> so we're going to put that as minus 3. So what's important about this is. All juniors at this time will be released to the auditorium for juniors at this time will attend, go to the auditorium. They do not need to take their backpacks. Leave their backpacks. Oh, OK. I'll continue. So when we look at our two equations, when we look at our two equations, the only equations that have a minus 3 are going to be f and k. So I've already eliminated, ladies and gentlemen, three of those answers. Right? Do you guys see that? Look at your answers. I've already eliminated three of them just because I know what the vertex is. So my vertex is going to be minus 3, so it's either f or k. Now the next thing is we need to determine which one is going to be correct. So I either have y equals x squared over 3 minus 3, or k, which is y equals 3x squared minus 3. So to do that, we need to look at another point and determine which parabola it lies on. So I'm going to do something very simple. Marissa. I'll do Marissa Long, sorry. Here is my equation. y equals x minus 2. Does that look like the equation of y equals x minus 2? Just roughly. Yeah, roughly, OK? It doesn't have to be an exact sketch. But that, if I was going to graph the linear equation y equals x minus 2, that's what it would roughly look like. Now, Marissa, is the point 0, 0 lie on the line? Are you sure? Yes, it's fairly obvious that that point is not lying on the line, correct? Everybody can obviously see that. Algebraically, we can show it doesn't lie on the line because the point for the origin is 0, 0. So what I can do is I can plug that for x and that for y. 0 equals 0 minus 2. 0 equals negative 2. Does 0 equal negative 2? No. All right. But what about the point? 0, negative 2. Does that look like that's on the line, Marissa? Yeah, it does, doesn't it? 0, comma, negative 2. Can we prove that algebraically? Of course we can. Let's plug 0 in for x and y in for negative 2. So I do negative 2 equals 0 minus 2. Negative 2 equals negative 2. So it works. So what I'm trying to get to, what I'm trying to make you guys understand is you, if you want to know if a point lies on an equation, 
plug in the x and y coordinates of that point into your equation for x and y. And if it makes the equation true, then it's on the, it's on the graph. So, let's, so then we need to pick another point. Um, and you guys can see there's, a, there's many different points you can pick. I'm going to pick, um, I see I have these two intercepts here, 3 comma 0. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in the point 3 comma 0 in for both of these. OK? So to do that, all I simply do is plug in 0 in for y and 3 in for x. Does everybody see what I did? I just plugged in 0 and x in for x and y. So now, all I simply need to go and do is just simplify. 3 squared is going to be 9. 9 divided by 3 is 3. 3 minus 3 is equal to 0. Here, 3 squared is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. 27 minus 3 is 24. So since that does not work, that is not my answer. But this one is, which is answer numero F, or letter F. Yes? Um, could I 